Everyone, well, that was bloody annoying. So my game decided to crash. Thank you, Fessel. Thank you. Not. We'll just chat to Norford. I thought it would do it beforehand. With, uh, it, brought, it was just talking about how he was teasing us about thinking, making Avil think he was upset about Braun being charged with tokens and all this sort of stuff, but he was just uh, taking the piss out of A4. That cutscene is removed. I'm sorry. I, it, yeah, it was a bit harmless thing, and, um, yeah. We got a scythe, which I will upgrade once we complete the festival. I just want to get this done with. And that's not because I'm not enjoying it, it's because I don't just... I don't want to have to re-record this because the game keeps crushing, so, yeah. My apologies on that one, so... Ugh, it's just bloody annoying. Ugh. God. You think you think with them having updates like three almost three months apart at this point or what feels like it that they'd actually fix stuff like this, but no. No. Cause why would that ever be lucky? Why would ever why would we ever be lucky about that, you know? Hello, RK. I didn't know you were fond of horses. I'd rather deal with a horse than an ass. Yeah. I'm not here to trade barbs, Aki. I've come to see what you're preparing. A challenge, Eivor. A true test of equestrian skill. There will be barriers to break, targets to hit, and a time limit. Oh, yeah? <laughs> I thought you said it would be a challenge. Don't say that yet! <laughs> it will require equal measures of skill, speed, and control. You think you have what it takes? Let's do this. Give me a moment to mount. Okay. Alright. I got the feeling I'd have to be a bit aware of things. Alright. Okay. I have to be quite aware of things, I think. Just taking a just 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 a average patient. Oi! Actually, this might be it. Saw that one. Okay. Okay. Out the way, dear, please. Oi! Come on! Awesome.
Lovely. Why so quiet, Ake? Where is the lash of your wit now? I am silenced by your show of skill. Cheers. You may claim the full prize. Okay, yep, that arena's where we're gonna get everything, isn't it? <clears throat> That's fair enough. Alright, let's go... Speak to Alwyn. That was interesting, actually. I enjoyed that. Alright. Good day to you, Alwyn. Ah, good day, Eivor. I hear you've taken charge of the Fall Festival. <laughs> I look forward to, uh, what do you call it again? Oscarea. I Oscarea. didn't say I'm in charge. I just talk to people. <laughs> oh, don't be so modest. I'm sure you're playing a greater role than you realize. Um, by the way, you'll want to keep a close eye on Braun's uncle. He's been leaving flaming pots everywhere. Oh, great. I know. He's a strange one. He may even be mad, but I don't think there's evil in his heart. Oh, I, I'm not suggesting any malicious intent, but Braun did mention he once burnt down a church. Oh, great. Uh, accidentally, of course. Oh. And a short while ago, I saw him heading towards the edge of the forest with an armload of kindling. He'll set the forest ablaze. Right. Where can I find him? Follow the smoke. All right. Well, certainly doing that one. Give me also a chance to show off the newest mount I have, which is a lion mount. I got this from a reddish shop. Oh God's sake! Come on, game. Let me let me show off this mount. Yeah, that'll do. All right. Oh boy. Well, let's go and stop him from burning down the entire forest, shall we? That would be a good idea, wouldn't it? <laughs> go, Sunan. Okay, heading over this direction then. This pungent smoke is not thick, but it clouds the hookah more than it obscures sight. Interesting. If your thoughts grow cloudy, look deeper within and seek clarity through your inner eye. I didn't think I spoke those thoughts aloud. I know what it's like to stand on the threshold of another world. I think you grow drunk on your own fumes. <laughs> Do you think it mere chance that brought you here? No. The Nornir leave little to chance. <laughs> then open your mind to the worlds beyond our own, as the veil that hides them is pulled away. What would you have me see? It's not about my desires, but yours. What do you seek? I seek to protect my people from the wild hunt. You'll need to cross the veil, face your greatest fear, meet your own worst enemy. Oh, great. Greatest fear. It'll take more than herb-induced visions to terrify me. And if God again, of course. Well, let's do this. Have I crossed the veil? This place is unsettling. Not terrifying. What enemies might I encounter here? The spirits of the dead? Oh, Secure here. They wander this nether world. Okay. 
Probably will have to face Kyotve in this world. That'd be about right, honestly. There is a force here. Invisible. Okay. Do I need to use this by chance? Oh, it's one of these! Wait. Probably be helpful if I read the thing first, wouldn't it? Pulled from a thread of the Nornia Strand, this room casts a shield across the land. Huh. These. That looks mostly obvious. Can I climb up any of these? Wait. Oh, so this is one of those, uh, there's only one way to get up there. Okay, okay, fair enough. I mean, to be fair, the way is a bit obvious, but still. Which is not always such a bad thing, let's face it. Hmm. Huh. So this going to be the same as those... I've forgotten what they're called now, but... Um, I assume it's like one of those powerful discovery type things. At least, I would assume that anyway. This is usually lift that up a little. There we are. A rune of power. Maybe that monk wasn't so mad after all. One can only hope. Stand aside, spirit. I come for the rune. I do not wish to add to your grief. This spirit could be my twin. Oh, of course. There is murder in its eyes. Only one evil will walk away. Yeah! If I slay this thing, will I die? It's true. We can be our own worst enemy. Yeah, we can. But I feel no joy at having vanquished it. That fight was more tiring than I thought. I grow weak. I mean, in all fairness, since we don't always get joy out of taking out our own mirror image, so to speak, it's, you know, takes a lot out of us, so, yeah. Doesn't necessarily surprise me. Hm. Oh, did we draw that in our, in our sleep, did we? I must have painted this room in my sleep. Nothing so strange about that. It doesn't shine with power like in the nether realm, but it's comforting, nevertheless. Huh. Sure it would be. Honorable death. Okay. Best land for, for one who shed blood for the good of the clan. Up we go. Goodman's ship of the dead. Well, at least he's honoring them very well, so yeah. <laughs> Fantastic. Oh. I'm sorry if you lost. Hey, Goodman. You do enjoy building your ships, Goodman, even if they're not going anywhere. Hmm. It's the craft. 
I see people have been carving the names of the dead onto the hall. Hake, Asa, Aslog. These are names I haven't heard since my youth. Wow. We lost many on that evil night. Sven, a big man with a fine touch. He left his mark on many of us. <laughs> Dag, a fighter until the end. I wouldn't call him a good man, but his bravery could not be denied. That's very true. There are my parents. Rasta, she traded her life for her child. I will make sure it was worth it. Varin, he gave his life to the Raven Clan. May the gods honor his sacrifice. Indeed. That is for the old father to judge. Also true. Strange. This name has no message to honor it. Kaf. It's not a name I know. Hmm. Never heard Goodman. of it. Do you know someone named Kaf? No. It's the one name not carved into the wood, only scribbled in charcoal. Did you see who wrote it? Maybe. Someone I didn't know came by earlier. Limping and staggering, like he was on his last legs. Didn't see his face. And you didn't speak to him? He didn't speak to me. He went that way, if you're interested. Thank you. Let's get back to work I then. I like unanswered questions so close to home. Very good point there. If this stranger was lame, he couldn't have gotten far. Okay. All right. Tira, did you see a man limp past? I did. He was heading north of the longhouse. Oh, thanks. Come here, Mount. Where are you? Probably a much shorter journey than what I'm intending, but whatever. Let's go this way. Wounded man. Okay. Whoa, I see someone. Whoa. This may be the end to this stranger's saga. Unless dead men can tell tales. <laughs> Usually, this depending is our on man. His gnarled fingers are black with cold dust. I did give away. He wrote something down before he passed. I alone saw the attack coming across the West River. If not for my warning, they would all be dead. Oh. I alone saw the attack from across the West River. If not for my warning, they'd all be dead. He was a lookout on the West River. There must be some place with a better view. Okay. Well, let's hop over there then. Oh, it's a bit of a ride as well. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, for a bit of a journey. Yeah. Oh, it's a sign to. Because the middle of the village, you can't be bullet to actually go far. There's smoke from a small fire. Is that where the poor wretch made camp? What? Show oh. me. Okay, cool. I was like, what the hell are you talking about, Evil? <laughs> <coughs> this was no campfire. The monk has been here. The air is perfumed with this sweetly sour smoke. Oh, yeah? If the monk's smoke can let me see the unseen, perhaps it will reveal something of the dead man's fate. Yeah, we can hope.
Let's do this. I guess we'll find out, won't we? From this spot, a lookout would have a good view of the land, but it's too far away to shout a warning. He would need another means to sound the alarm. Perhaps with fire. There's no fire thing here, so... <laughs> Okay, so my guess would then be... <laughs> down... Down river or downstream, possibly? The only thing I can think of. Oh, there's a fire thing here. Near your ship. What was left of him. Okay, that the was eerie. Burned you with your own fire. Traitor. Wow. Oh, okay. Now I've seen a broken arm ring like this once before. When Stierbjorn exiled a man from Fornburg. Oh, okay. There be something in the water by any chance? <laughs> I see a boat there, I'm just not sure how relevant that would be. Across here. A hell of a battle that took place here, I'd imagine. Oh, up there. Okay. The weapons were abandoned here. They were good quality. The kind weren't by mercenaries, not peasants. A great battle was fought here. Okay. Anything here? Oh, hang on. I see this stuff here. Does that mean we have to go... Oh, is there like a shipyard or something? Oh wow, this is an Uber! Oh, okay. God, this is a remains of Uber's fleet. Wow. The burnt remains of a longship bow. It bears a carved serpent favored by the sons of Ragnar. This is from Uber's ship. Wow. Calf was on lookout the night of the attack. He saw the fire glimpses, didn't With he? Yeah. mercenaries coming by land, he'd had no time to reach the others. So he raised the alarm by burning Uber's ship. Oh, okay. Uber would have been furious. He probably blamed Kaf for the attack and left him behind when the great army moved on. I mean, he did warn them, I believe, to some extent, it would seem, but I can understand he'd be a bit pissed off with the method, but at least he was warned, so you've got to forgive him in some way, you know, for goodness sake. Now that I've uncovered Calf's tail, I'll write it on Goodman's ship. Yep, he should be honoured for that, to be honest. Right. 
Get our mount. I'll certainly honor him, he deserves it. Go this way, because why not? I hope that's a crow that was squawking at me. If so, it's a tad alarming. Braziers? Okay. Cool. Let's fill out. Let's complete his story. I crossed the veil with the help of your herfs. I saw through Calf's eyes and learned his tale. Calf saved his people, and will be honored. What do you see when you look into the veil? To see what I see would drive you mad. Try me. Ask not about my visions, and I will not ask after yours. I suppose that's fair. Calf saved his settlement. Venite odoremus et ada talata merum, eritis et fidem, dus et vos interim et promisa, in tua erit anima domini mea percusit. A rune of protection paid in blood. A wrong has been righted, giving peace to our dead. You have really risen to the occasion, Eivor. Come claim your full reward. Cheers. I've done what I can to prepare for this day. It is now. Hundred. Show respect. Well, let's give them the send off then. All falls into place. The pattern comes into focus. Does it now? A rune of protection writ large on the longhouse. The restless put to rest. And a people prepared for the I think you're less mad than you let on, monk. <laughs> but I have to disappoint you. There'll be no hunt. Will there not? Even now, powerful forces gather. We're not out of the woods yet. The gods are angry. I'll never doubt you again, Uncle. Okay. Did we do something wrong? What does this mean? Lots of the things. Wild hunt. Come on, Eivor, set everyone straight. Everyone, listen. The wild hunt will not come for us this night. How do you know that? Because I've seen the courage and. Oh my god. Because I know that when people are united and strong, they... Wow! <gasps> that was interesting timing for that, wasn't it? <laughs> the lightning... The gods are with us. Gasp of lightning. Ah, the memory of the soldiers with this place. You're welcome, Kaf. Rest in peace. OK. 
Okay, that is the end of it. Alright. Right, now, one thing I'm going to do, if I find my way around here again. Go and upgrade the uh, scythe. Then we'll call it there. Pleasure to see you again. So, Gunther, got a few things to do here. Yeah. Ah, that one's pretty good. <laughs> Where the scythes? Where? Oh my God, scythes! Thank you. Ah, let me look at you. Wonderful. Oh. Scythe, cool. Increase five on a fire damage should hit an ignited enemy. Oh, okay. I do good work. Alright, cool. Take a look at this weapon, shall we? Uh, should be here. Nice. Wow, very interesting design actually. It does have a very Reaper slash Halloween feel, a feel to it, I think. Which I mean, obviously the case, but still, it's a has a nice touch to it, I think. <laughs> I do like the design actually. It gives off that very veil of death aspect. All I've just noticed is that Rune of Protection is also carved on it, too. <laughs> That's kind of cool, actually. Alright, well, that was, um... Aside from the sound stuff, which has got nothing to do with me, that's on Ubisoft's side in the update. That's what that is, so... Um, there's some other stuff I need to actually do in this game, but I'll see. I might have to wait with that until they release an update update patching the sound or wait till your at least the festival's gone see if that fixes it but um yeah look despite despite for all the sound stuff it was actually uh, an interesting festival some nice changes the horse riding uh the arrow stuff after gods if i could do that in my own time so that was um yeah i mean it was still annoying hearing that that lady uh continued to bark words that was kind of annoying i thought it'd be reduced but no such luck, but um, at least it was a change up from how we have to hit stuff. It was more difficult, but um, the arena was it was actually quite interesting. I'll definitely have to go back and farm that a bit to get some more uh, uh, to tokens and everything, so I can buy a few more things. But nothing, there's not too much I think I would get, but more just for future festivals and everything. But um, yeah, I mean the missions actually they were different and they were interesting. You know, it gives a uh, yeah, it really gives you a, a look, a glimpse into the Oscaria, Oscar, Oscaria, I believe that's how they will pronounce it, into the look of that festival, and uh, yeah, give it a nice Halloween feel, but also uh, really gives you an eye, a bit of a glimpse, I feel, into the, you know, how, how the Vikings honoured, you know, it's also, I mean, it gives off the vibe of Halloween, but it's more like a respect and honor the dead and the passing of the lo of fallen loved ones. That's what that means. With a bit of a, a nice, but I mean, before they pulled in Halloween, there was it was nothing to do with Halloween, if I recall correctly. But it was more, it had, it was honoring people and having a very, uh, almost a creepy feel to it. Halloween's just something else entirely, but yeah, it was just very much it that really gave us gave us a glimpse to what the festivals, what the Halloween, what this uh, time of year for October actually, what festivals actually were built around, in terms of themed around, not the Halloween style, but what they were before that this concept even existed, which is really cool actually. So yeah. Or at least in different forms and names as well. But yeah, so anyway, I enjoyed that. And yeah, we're going to end this one here for the game decides to do its own thing. And yeah, glad I got this dealt with. So yeah, quite an interesting experience. Anyway, I'll catch you next time for the next lot of content. Take care.